What do you think takes the most perseverance of all? Parenting. It takes a long time, a lot of battles, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of frustrations, but a lot of great things as well. And so part of what I want to talk about is just um, things to think about as, as a parent and, and per persevering, uh, but also giving you a tool. Uh, a little simple little tool that helps kids redirect themselves without you having to have that argument and that battle with them. You know, and so you know, we got to think of the, the two primary rules of parenting. Number one, let them know you love them every day. In some way, shape, or form, whether it's telling you you love them or showing them in a way that they recognize that you love them. And we have different learning styles. Some people are auditory, some are kinesthetic, some are visual, you know, so you got to figure out what is their learning style and the best way to let them know that you love them and do that every day. The other rule, the line in the sand. Here's what's acceptable. Here's what's not acceptable. Here's the line in the sand. Don't cross the line. You know, and, and helping them really see that there's behaviors that are not acceptable. Make sure that there's, helps guide them to make the right choices. And, and here's a simple little tool, right? It's your hand. Now, what you want to do is, you know, sometimes it's counting to three. When I get to three, you gotta, you're going to go sit and time out or whatever the case may be. This is a slight variation of it from the standpoint of you're not saying anything. You let them know right away. You got five chances. When I get to one, you're going to lose whatever, or you're going to go to timeout, or ideally it's having them lose something. Works better than timeout. Kids won't fight much for gaining things, but they'll fight real hard not to lose something. You know, so you have that conversation, and when they start being combative, say, that's four. Right? Then they're going to keep being combative. Don't say anything from that point on. Then they're going to keep being combative. And then they're going to have one last combative word. And that's when you say, I've got one left. And you'll be amazed at how quickly things stop. right? Because they're going from an emotional standpoint to a reasoning standpoint. Their brain's having this conversation. Their emotional part of their brain's talking to their, their reasoning part of their brain. And this major conversation is going on and there's this major angst. Right, and it forces them to kind of start making that critical decision. Now, sometimes they're not gonna—they're gonna keep going at one, and when they do, they've crossed the line, and you gotta go after them on it. You gotta hammer them on it, right? Not being mean about it, but no, that's not it. I gave you the chance. You blew the chance. Now you lose the thing. They gotta know no uncertain terms. There can't be that one quarter chance left. When one is gone, it's gone. You've given them more than enough opportunity to make the adjustment. Because you know what, next time around when you give them five, you might have to go to four, possibly three, and that's going to be about it. So, a little tool for you. Give it a whirl.